I like you all. I like you, so I'm gonna open up. This has all been small talk, all right? Let's... 2011, right? That was 12 years ago. I met a woman while I was on the road in Cleveland, Ohio. We had one night together, two sexual encounters back to back, no condom used either time. Per her request. And what am I gonna do? I'm a romantic, you know what I mean? Like I could deny the request of a lover, no. And it was, it was great. And then, but the next day when I was flying back home, back to New York, I got nervous. Like, I don't know, man. Cleveland's a wild city. Like a river once caught fire in Cleveland. A body of water got the clap. It could happen to me too. So when I got back to New York, I went and got tested. Now back then, you, I went to this free clinic. It was in Queens, right? You go, you get tested, you come back three days later for your result. I am in there three days later, sitting in the waiting room for a suspiciously long amount of time. You know what I mean? Like it was, I started to get nervous. I started to replay scenarios in my head or be like, oh, why are they all, are they just drawing straws to see who's gotta come out here and break the news? Any minute now, is a doctor gonna come flying out with a clipboard like, all right, Mr. Patton, well, you got all of it. You got every single thing, you got it, just name it. You have lupus. You have sexually transmitted lupus. We didn't know that was possible. We thought we were on the verge of eradicating that until you brought it back with your dumb dick. Get the fuck out of here, go, go. We're gonna give you an hour head start before we call the CDC, go. I was nervous. And I think it started to show because the nurse behind the counter, behind the desk, a very lovely woman named Beatrice, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, she just starts talking me down. Out of, like, I don't think you have anything to worry about, Mr. Sean Patton. You look wholesome to me. <laughs> to which I responded, thank you. But then immediately got defensive, like, wait, what the fuck does that mean? In my head, I'm like, Sheep, you think I can't get an STD? You don't fucking know me. So then I reminded her why I was there. I said, well, you know, I am here because I had unprotected sex twice. To which she replied, twice. <laughs> you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was a shot. And I got, I got more defensive and said, yes. Yes, ma'am, twice. And then she said the thing I haven't been able to stop fucking thinking about for 12 years now, which was this, twice. <laughs> Who do you think you is, Robocop? <laughs> Who you think you is, Robocop? Now, here's the thing. I am a fan of the Robocop movies. I've seen them all. In every RoboCop film, he kills a lot of bad guys, saves some good guys, blows a lot of shit up, but you know what he never does once ever, ever? Fucks, ever. With or without protection. I don't think he's got a penis anymore. The only human part left is his face, you know what I mean? Like, and he covers the eyes. I mean, he could probably robo munch a box to tears. But does he even have the inclination to do so? I told my roommate about this at the time, and my roommate, he offered up this. He said, well, maybe she was trying to imply that you having unprotected sex twice is something you did because you think you are invincible, like RoboCop. <laughs> eh, here's why that's wrong. <laughs> RoboCop is not invincible. He almost dies in every single movie, which again, I've seen a lot. My theory after all this time is that she was referring to a fourth RoboCop film that was only made and released in the West Indies, right? Where <laughs> RoboCops you know, on the beat want to, I'm RoboCop, come to destroy all the bad guy, right? And then gets in a shootout and during that learns that he's still got a human penis. It was just like behind a shield. And upon seeing it, remembers what it's like to fuck and is now like, I'm RoboCop, him come to smash all the puss. Right? <laughs> And I know, I know, I know where I am. I felt it from you earlier. Ooh, I don't know. A white guy on stage doing a Jamaican accent? 
I don't know. Well, first and foremost, she was Trinidadian, okay? You racist fucks. But now you're doing like a, a, like a robot Caribbean. Exactly. Robo Caribbean. That's just fair fucking game. Bend over, sexy lady. In Robocop. No, me don't use no condom. Bridge him it out, lot of mercy. Thank you for letting me bust me robo nut. Even still, horny. If she want more, she get more from the Robocop. Oh, you tight boon boon, make him feel aye. Thank you for letting me bust two robo nut. Be safe, even tired now. One week later. Why do it itch? Why do a human penis itch and burn when I'm yearning? Scan for viruses. <laughs> Positive. No! Why did me have two unprotected encounter? Who me think me is? Comedian Sean Patton? <laughs> What a journey we just took! <laughs>